hi guys welcome back to my channel all right so today i'm looking at mess in my bonnet and all today's a bonnet day guys i didn't feel like getting dressed so i'm gonna come as i am that's what the lord say come as you are right so i have a little special treat for you guys today well is it a treat no it's not just have a little review on this hair that i got off alix sorry Shh. said it wrong amazon so i got this hair off amazon i'm thinking about trying something new in my head so i saw some hair on amazon that i liked and i decided to go ahead and order it so it is the Havana mambo twist crochet hair braid senegalas I don't think I pronounced that word right, but I'm going to put the link down in my description so you guys can go and check it out. And this is the 18 inch that I got. I got six packs in this bag right here and it costs 37. Well, basically once you had taxis, it was around 39, it was around $39 somewhere right there. But on the site, it's showing $37.20, but we all know the tax is not included. So yeah, let me just give you a little picture of what she looks like. I hope you're seeing. Yeah, so that's what it looks like. And I'm going to be on... Um, well, I went through it already and I saw how the hair looks. So I just want to show you guys how the hair looks. So let me just show you. It comes with, in these bags. And I got six packs of this and they also gave me a little they gave me the crochet needle and some fandangles I wish it was gold though I only like gold I only wear gold stuff I love gold gold is like my favorite metal <laughs> yeah you get what it what I'm trying to say I don't really like the colored things I wish they were gold but I gave you this little needle with the things so I thought that was kind of cute so let me just get into the hair because I was looking at some videos on here trying to find like this type of hair 18 inches to see okay I wanted to see the length of an 18 inch I could hardly find any videos on this hair so I said you know what let me create a video for persons who are looking for 18 inches and want to see the length of our 18 inch look so this is basically what this video is about because I'm not seeing the 18 inches hello I'm only seeing like 24 inches and above there Alright, so this is what the hair looks like out of the pack. I must say though, this hair oof, smells awful. It smells so awful. Oh my god. This hair smells real bad. I'm going to wash them. So, yeah. I need to get rid of this smell. So I'm going to wash them. So I'm going to... Oh my god. Come on, it's giving me a concussion. <laughs> I smelled it and now it's all in my head. Yeah, so I'm going to be showing you how I wash this hair. But this is how it looks out the pack and I must say it is beautiful though I need to open and get this away from my face because it's really smelling bad it looks so gorgeous I can't take that away from the hair I don't know if you guys are seeing the beauty on camera but it is looking amazing it looks good and this this is how the end looks the end I mean it looks better than some of the ends that I see that looks so fake this one kind of almost looks real you know, like when you reach the end of your hair and you plait it out, you know, at the end, you know, you get thin. That's how this look. So I'm going to be washing it to get rid of this awful scent because I cannot be walking around with a stinking head. That's a no-no. But this is how the hair looks, guys. So I'm going to show you how I wash it now. And I'm also going to be installing it. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do some crusher hair in the back. So like get a cane run and put the crusher in. But in the front section, I'm going to try to do individual crochet. So I'm going to be plaiting individual sections. And then I'm going to be crocheting. I'm going to crochet in the ear. So stay tuned for that. So let's get go to the bathroom and wash this stinky hair. Alright, so I'm just going to be using some hot water. Because I feel like this hair is too stink to use normal temperature water so i'm using some hot water hoping that it will help to um steam away the scent <laughs> i guess so i am not going to be rubbing up the hair together instead i'm going to be squeezing it together so as i shampoo it i'm going to just take my hand and i'm going to just squeeze it to get the shampoo in the hair and then i'm going to rinse it out and then i'm going to add my conditioner and i'm going to leave it in the sink with 
in the hot water for about a hour to try to get all the good smell of the conditioner to penetrate the hair because i need to get rid of this scent so i'm gonna leave it for an hour in the hot water to help it out and then i'm gonna just put it outside to dry so that's basically what i'm gonna be doing My god i must sound horrible i don't want to listen back to that but my hair is smelling good yes it's ready so i'm just gonna take each section 12 come in a pack i don't remember if i said that so no this is where it gets really tricky guys i didn't know this was gonna take so much work i had a lot of trial and error i tried a lot of different techniques omg i'm just showing you my braiding pattern and how it looks and yeah but let me just tell you i plaited my hair and my hair is relaxed as i said so i put some lasket on the end to keep it until i get the braids on so i'm just showing you now this is um technique number trial one because i went through a lot of trial guys to try to find the perfect one that will work with this hair this was trial one that didn't work where i have the plait hair and i'm gonna try to um put, use the crochet needle put it in the middle of the twist here push it up through the middle and try to grab my plait hair and draw it back through the hair thinking that it's gonna be hidden but guess what it was not so yeah it did not work as you can see so i pull off the hair and i put it on back again so at this time i try to because the first time i only pulled when i crushed the the braid in here through my real hair i only pulled the braid in here back through the loop so i pull it out and i pulled my braid in here and my real hair no the, the yeah the braid here and the crochet here through the loop thinking that it would be better and it was gonna be in now but guess what guess what i bet you don't guess it did not work it did not work same result so the plaiting thing was not working out and i figured that out that that was a no-no that is not going to work so eventually now i decided that okay i'm just gonna pull out the plait and I'm going to proceed to twisting it in the hair. So I'm going to pull the um, crush of the braid hair in. Then I'm going to open up the braid hair after I pull out the plait of my hair. And then I'm going to just twist it in. That did not work, guys, because my braid hair, the braid in here started. You can just see that I um, I trouble it. You can see some trouble the ear because it just never look right after that. So you just know say no this is not gonna work so then now i proceeded to use a last kit so i took out the hair again and i pull out the 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 the, the plaits and then i put a last kit at the hand you know i use the last kit method the rubber band method and then i crush it back the hair in and i try to twist it again twist my hair into the 
the synthetic air that didn't work so eventually i realized that that's going to take a lot of work also so i just continue put the crusher air into the uh, my braid in here and then when i put in the crusher air and tighten it then i pull up my um plath ear and pull it out till it reach a certain point down at the root and then i stop and then i just twist it with some got to be gel to try to hold it together so it doesn't unravel and then i just try to push it through the middle of the braid in here again once with the crusher needle so that's the method that i stuck with because i see that that gave me the the better result so that's basically all i did and i didn't go through all of this video because after a while i was just so exhausted and i was just over it so just watch the rest and see for yourself that it was a pain in the butt but yeah it looked good in the end so i'm not gonna complain anymore
welcome back to my channel so why am i saying welcome back to my channel it's because i shooted this video like weeks ago so please forgive me this is two weeks after well at least you're getting a little sneak peek as to how long the hair will last and oh it's holding up and this is two weeks after and the twists are still holding up pretty good i just have my peekaboo hair coming through because the end of my hair is relaxed so it's not staying hidden and it's too short it's short and relaxed so that's basically a no no short and relaxed hair it's hard to keep them in unless it's probably the crochet braid i think i'll get away with the four locks i think i will get away with that one so maybe i'll try that one next who knows but this is it guys i love the hair it's been two weeks as i said oh my god that man is so annoying i have a neighbor guys and he's so weird he hears my voice and he's coming outside why is he coming outside so annoying anyway guys now i feel like i have to talk low it's getting under my skin anyway guys that's it for the video i give this here a thumbs up i think it is amazing and it's very convenient all i have to do is get up in the morning and do my edges and through the door which is amazing because i normally have to be laying my front all making baby hair wetting up the hair just a lot of work but the only disadvantage i have is because my hair is short and relaxed it, they're coming through at the front where I did the individual braids so I think next time if I was to do this style I would do less individual braids probably just the front part one row at the front and where I'm gonna have my part that's it but otherwise from that guys I love the hair it's good and I'll give this a thumbs up and I'm gonna leave the links down in my description where you can go and purchase this hair because it's a good hair and the smell is gone so that is a plus but I'm dying. This hair is too hot for Jamaica right now. I'm dying. And it itches me in the night. I don't know. It's not even just this, this hair alone. But all braiding hair. Once it's a type of braiding hair that's in my head, my scalp just itches like crazy. I have no clue why. And this hair is not even dirty because as you can see, I washed it. So I just, I guess my head just don't like braids or of any sort. But that's it for this video, guys. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you subscribe please subscribe now this is like your fifth video I have a lot of videos on here so if you've watched a lot of videos it's time for you to subscribe so i'll see you in my next video guys bye